Okay, so go into media portal configuration. Um, for now, just leave it on standard mode. Click continue. Let it boot up. Okay, so this is the uh, media portal configuration. So we'll go through this uh, as quickly as we can. So automatically start media portal delay. It's after we started. That's fine. Just leave a lot of this stuff. You can leave it as um, default. Okay, except for here. <clears throat> See how it says start media portal and full screen mode. Yes, that's what you want. Um, use alternative splash screen. Only you start it in full screen mode. I, uh, I tend to untick that because I don't really want um, to see uh, their full um, splash screen. Tick keep media portal always on top. Hide taskbar and full screen. Auto start media portal on Windows setup startup. The only other thing I do is um, leave those on apply workaround fix middle you know, I tick that and restart middle and resume avoid starting with Nvidia because I use an Nvidia uh, video card <coughs> so they're, they're the ones that you kind of want to once you get it all set up you kind of want to um, have ticked okay so for now just to test it what I'm going to do is I'm going to untick um, that and untick that so that we can have window the portal meter portal running in a window mode so we can check and test okay so we'll come back at the end and um, tick those again over here um, you can see the skins I haven't installed any other skins yet which I will uh, I'm just going to leave the default one for now so um, you can leave that <coughs> all of that uh, you can leave you can change it to basic or classic um, depending on your preference and you'll see that later when we go through language I don't use that leave that unticked um, for me it's English that doesn't matter sorry yep um, now we're going to videos so here a lot of this I again I leave default um, I don't haven't really had the need to um, change any of this um, the one that I do need to change is this video folder so at the moment it's just got my <coughs> uh, DVD drive so what I'll do is I'll add and I'll call this um, what I normally for this particular drive I call it media and I'll explain why in a sec and I, I, I tick all of that because in this particular case I want it to be able to see all of those that's why I call it media because there's different things and um, I'll explain why we don't just do the movies or the TV series in a minute so and that's it and I actually untick the optical drives I don't um, need it automatically switch to and untick that <clears throat> so that's that one video database I don't use this um, anymore now that um, we have the my TV series and uh, moving pictures so in the past I would have used this I don't use it anymore um, use 5.1 audio playback for I don't worry about that <clears throat> I can just I just leave that and um, it's a bit of trial and error but you can come back to that later DVD um, that's fine okay so TV um, a lot of this you can just leave default so except in here TV server this is the same computer so the host name you can either put in the IP address which I normally do um, I don't need 
that. That's more for a um, TV client settings, and that's pretty much it. I don't use any of these other ones. TV Zoom, you can actually set it to default to um, any of those. You can pretty see it's pretty pretty um, straightforward. You can self-explanatory as well. So a lot of that I don't bother with. The only thing I need to do is make sure I tick and I change the path for uh, my music, which is under my... It's actually under my audio. I have a lot of um, audio that I listen to. So, again, um, I don't really bother with any of these. I mean, you can go through and uh, fill them out if you want. Um, I don't use this very often either. So that's, and um, you can go through and do the same. I mean, the only thing for me here is just the most important thing for me is to go and change the paths of these to point to um, what I want it to point to, pretty much. Um, okay, so remote, I actually use the MCE remote, and that's, I ticked that. I'm happy with the buttons I actually have. Which one? This one, the middle one right here, and one of these. So they all obviously yes work. Okay, here's a little bit trickier. <coughs> um, oh, one of the things we haven't done is we haven't installed the codec pack. But if you want to, just leave everything as default. Um, most it should just work. It should just work okay. Uh, and we'll, we'll come back, we can come back to this and uh, do a codec installation and set up. The other thing is the weather. So I actually like to put uh, kilometers per hour. So I'm just going to go at Brisbane. So at Brisbane, Australia, at City. The other one I like to add is the Gold Coast. Coast Australia, um, and I add, let's say Sydney, add, and Melbourne. They're the main cities that I add, and that's it. Simple as that for that one. Okay, now we go to plugins. <coughs> okay, so in here we've got. Um, all of these at the moment, all of these plugins, a lot of moving pictures is a plugin. Um, I actually make sure you click in home TV series. I want it in the home online video. I, it's already in home. I don't use that, so I'll disable it. I don't use track. That's actually uh, uh, not a. That's a very good program too. But currently, I don't use it, so I just disable it. Radio disable TV. Obviously, leave on play disc is for DVD, so leave that. Home, leave that. Music, leave that. Pictures, leave that. The radio is off. It comes with Sudoku, I disable, and Tetris, I just disable. And this videos um, will leave on, and the weather. So at the moment, <coughs> that's all. That's, that's it. So that's at this point in time, that's um, all you need to do to configure Media Portal. Uh, and then next, what we'll do is we'll actually go and configure these plugins, the, the moving pictures, TV series, and online video. So uh, we'll go into that right now.